Welcome back. In today's video, I am going to show you this invoice management web app which have multiple features, the generate invoice, the generated invoices, the ledger of your customer. So you can see here the manage product sections where you can manage and the manage user sections where you can add or delete your users and also the change password options. In this web app, we have two types, the admin and the user. User can generate invoices and see their own invoices. Admin can manage all the things. So let's break down all the steps step, step by step. My English is not well. I am trying to explain my all the features I have added in this web app step by step. So first of all, you have seen the current date is automatically selected. Uh, so I am going to refresh. Uh, uh, I will uh, show you from the start. So now in our Google Sheet, you will see in login sheet, we have the username and password and the type is allow or block. You can also block any user. So here you can see here when I am going to log in and click on the login. So you can see here, I am successfully logged in my account. So now you can see the date is automatically of today. And the invoice number is automatically comes with the increment from the previous number. The previous invoice is 1001. So now the current invoice is automatically increment one number and it will be invoice two. And the same with the customer. So you can see here the customer before is 001 and now it's auto increment with 002. So now you can see here, here the invoice from here you can set up your information from the index.html. I am going to show you, uh, for example, you are going to go, go to your code and uh, go to uh, index.html and just search this so you can set your information here and uh, here you will enter your client information where to send your invoice and after all uh, you will have to add uh, your products in your invoice so in when you are going to add your product in your invoice so you can see here the available quantity this data will comes from the products so now you can see here we have this uh, products data in our bacon so the consultation so you can see here the consultation available quantity is 99 and the price is this and the tax applied on this item is two percent so now you can see here and uh, you can see here the 99 dollars is the cost and two percent is tax so now here you can see here 99.96 because two percent tax is applied it so if i want to select the two so you can see here the numbers of your products affect immediately and when you click on this add item and click on this and you will see the available quantity is eight and the unit cost is this and i am going to buy this too and now it's all set so now here you have a option of ledger this is a ledger uh, you can directly uh, set a your know, system uh, the payment method which he payment method he used for example if you receive a cash so you can simply go to your payment method and add a cash and uh, what features you want to add here you can add here when you're going to refresh your web app so you will see the cash is in here and the amount the total becomes if it paid completely so you can simply just copy this and paste it here and click on this save Okay, and, and you click on this save button so your invoice will be uh, saved successfully. Click on this uh, right now, click on this Maison and click on the save. Uh, in, uh, in next time, I will show you uh, the cash, how it's cash. Uh, when you are going to refresh your web app, the cash will come. So when I click on this save icon, so now you can see here my invoice is going to be successfully, invoice data is successfully be saved. So in my invoices, so you, now you can see here the invoice is successfully comes here with this created by with this user okay so now i am going to you will see i am currently logged in as a admin when i am going to click on this generated invoices so now you can see here all the invoices available in our database will be seen by the admin you can also apply the date range filters so you can see here uh, when i am going to uh, apply a date range filter of one and two so now you can see here the data is not come here the data is not available for that particular date range filter loading invoices 
So now you can see here the data is not available. So when I am going to clear filter, so now you can see here the loading invoices and I can able to see my all invoices again. So right now I have created the customer zero two and if you want to view, you just need to click on this view. So you can see here all the invoice data will be fetched successfully. And if you want to add more items in this uh, invoice, so you can also add them and also you can invoice text. Also, if you want to add the invoice text, you can also add if you want to give him a discount, you can also give him and the payment right now here it will be managed in your ledger. So right now here we have a option of send. So we are going to open our Gmail account and simply uh, copy our email ID from here. Just copy this and uh, click on this send icon and click on this save and click on the OK. So when I am go uh, enter my email, so now you can see here I have successfully received a uh, I, my invoice in my email so now you can see here I can download my PDF of my invoice successfully okay so this is our invoice email feature and if you want to download and if you want to download as a PDF so you just need to simply click on this PDF so your invoice will be downloaded in the PDF so now you can see here so the data is not comes because we have not saved yet we are going to click on the save so I have saved my data and click on the generated invoice and click on this view and uh, now you can see here the data is successfully here and click on this PDF so now you can see here the PDF downloaded successfully and all the items now see in my PDF. So this is the feature and also if you want to delete your invoice, you can simply click on this delete and click on OK. When you click on OK, so your invoice will be deleted. So now you can see here the invoice from your Google Sheet is also be deleted. So also it have a print option. You can also print your invoice like that and uh, you can uh, you will see the send option. So now we are going to a ledger section. In our ledger section, we have the same date range filters and same. For example, if I want to see uh, the all the data, if I want to see the customer 013, uh, so I just enter my 013 data, the customer manual ledger entry, the paid and the manual entry. And you can also edit or delete from here. Uh, if I want to edit the credit score with 1200 and click on this save so in I my in my ledger so you can see here the ledger is successfully updated in our backend so if I want to delete this and I simply click on this delete so now you can see here in our sheet the data is successfully deleted so in our manage product so you uh, we are going to manage our product we have a filter the quantity minimum one quantity available right now and maximum 50 and click on this apply filter loading product so you can now see here the uh, products available between one and 50 quantity is will be shown in our database we can simply clear this and you can see here our data is successfully loaded loaded and if you want to edit and click on simply 10 and right now in our products so you can see here 967 and when I'm going to click on this save so now you can see here the data is successfully updated here and right now again click on this manage users when you are going to manage users so you can uh, uh, in our login section you can see we have a two users right now and if you want to delete if you want to edit this user uh, to user role to admin and click on this save so now you can see here the role is successfully changed immediately and if you want to click on this delete so you can see here your data is successfully being uh, deleted and again if you want to add a user you can simply click on this new user and enter the email id which is already have i just uh, one and password one to three and access is block and user and click on this save so now you can see here i have created a user now it will be available in my database so same change password old password enter your own password i am going to enter my old password here and paste it here and change with the new one and when i am going to click on this change so now you can see here the password is changed successfully i am going to replace with my old one so this is the system when i am going to log out so now you have able to see i am successfully log out okay i am going to refresh my web app and uh, uh, i will uh, going to this allow uh, i will uh, copy this my username and paste it here and uh, I just copy my password and uh, paste it here and click on this login. So here you will see access is blocked. So we are going to click on him allow. 
So you can see here, uh, right now my access is blocked. Now it's allowed when I'm going to click on this login. So now you can see here, I am successfully logged in my database. The same things you have. And now I am a user of Kitchen Community 1. I have two options, generate invoice and generated invoices. When I'm going to in generated invoices, so now you can see here, no invoices is generated by this user. So right now, so right now here you can see here the generate invoice I am going to delete my ledger entries to show you a clear view so I am going to simply uh, the shampoo the available quantity is two and the sport and uh, the consultations and everything is fine here you can enter your client name address phone and uh, everything and now you will see we have added a cash here so the cash payment is received right now i just select on this cash and how much the total amount 1258 so now you can see here that 1258 is successfully added and when i am going to click on this save so now you can see here the invoice data is successfully shared and when i am going to my invoices so now you can see here loaded one invoices i am going to load data and uh, i need to refresh my web app you will see loaded one invoice and uh, going to refresh it and i am going to refresh it and i simply uh, copy my username and password here i simply copy my username and uh, password here and just click on this login when i am going to login so now you have able to see in my generated invoice i have only one invoice and when i am going to click on this view so now you can see here the data is successfully hackers and in our ledger so now you can see here the customer 0002 payment for invoice this 1258 is received and zero amount is remaining 1258 cash and community by one okay so this is our ledger management also you have a change password features in here and a logout features and in generate invoice you can also generate a new invoice send email features you already know and when you click on this view and if you want to delete this you can simply delete this invoice so this is our invoice management web application and uh, now we have embedded in like this like this kind of url so if you want to uh, get this kind of URL simply comment below. I want this embedment of URL and remove our goodies application was created by a Google Apps Script user. So I will make a separate video on them as on your on your request. If I received 10 comments, make a video on them. I will make a video. Take care.